All right, folks, today we're taking a peek at this uh, 2017 Nissan Altima S. It's got uh, hubcaps with steel wheels. It does have tinted glass. Uh, it's a nice shade of gray metallic, I guess we'd call it. We're going to just finish our walk around here, and then we'll hop inside. Check out all the goodies on the inside. So let's do the outside first. This Give you a good look at it here. Looks a little better on the sunny side. Even. A little brighter in the filming. And then next we're going to get inside. Take a peek at what's going on inside the vehicle. This one has approximately uh, 15,000 uh, some hundred miles on it. I, I can't remember offhand. We'll find out once we're in the interior looking at the odometer. Let's go ahead and do that right now while we're thinking about it. All right, we got 15,473 miles on the odometer. And uh, we're looking at, uh, those are our audio controls for our source, etc. And over here we got our cruise controls along with the Bluetooth. This is a tilt wheel and I believe it's telescoping also. Uh, down here we have our usual power windows, power door locks, and power mirrors. So, there we go. And over here we have a pretty standard stereo. This is also going to be where your backup camera shows up when you put her in reverse. Pretty standard uh, climate controls there. And then way down here, you can see we've got aux and USB inputs. This does have Bluetooth, of course, for your phone. Uh, and we got another power tap down here for it. And then the other power taps up right up there. Automatic transmission. Nice black interior with white stitching. Lots of room in this car. These are super nice cars, folks. Uh, not much else to talk about. And here, let's get out and take a peek at that motor. All right, folks, here we are under the hood of the uh, 2017 Nissan. This is a 2.5 liter dual overhead cam motor. These get excellent fuel economy. Uh, these can get upwards of 38 miles a gallon. I'd just like to mention I don't believe I mentioned it when I was in the interior. Uh, this does have, on the starter, you would hit the lock button twice and then press and hold up here, and you have a remote start. So, kind of a nice add-on feature. Uh, as usual, for all the specs and still photos, check out our website at stalinsusedcars.com. And make sure you uh, give us a like and subscribe to our channel on YouTube. That way, you'll know every time we put a new car on the lot. Thanks for watching. Have a fantastic day.